The voice you've just heard belongs to Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut selected to pilot the Vostok 1 spaceflight. Minutes later, he would etch his name into the annals of history as the first person to venture into the vast expanse of outer space. The Soviet Union has taken up the lead in the space race. With the successful launch of Sputnik 1, and Sputnik 2, which carried the first animal in orbit, Laika. After these momentous achievements, the Soviets set their sights into doing something that would further cement their lead in the space race. And that would be sending a man in space. The person selected to become the first man in space was a fighter pilot named Yuri Gagarin. Before he became a cosmonaut, Gagarin served in the Soviet Air Force from 1956 to 1959, in which he flew the jet fighter aircraft called the MiG-15. In 1959, with 265 hours of flight time, he was endorsed by the Soviet space program to become one of its first cosmonauts. Come on, man. 
After an intense launch, the Vostok 1 spacecraft was finally placed in orbit. Yuri Gagarin has done it. He has become the first man to venture into the cosmos. Gagarin orbited the Earth once for one hour. During that time, he maintained constant communication with Moscow and the ground stations around the Soviet Union, although sometimes his messages were not received. The Vostok spacecraft passed several areas around the world, such as Siberia, Hawaii, New Zealand, Chile and South America, and the Southern Atlantic Ocean. And with the primary objectives of the mission achieved, it was time for Gagarin to come back home.
Gagarin landed at the Saratov region in the Soviet Union one hour and 48 minutes after liftoff. The mission was finally over and Gagarin would become a hero not just for the Soviets, but for all the people in the world. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe and share to your friends to help grow my channel. See you next time.